Okay, so uh, two things today. That's four. <laughs> two things today. Uh, one, I'm going to uh, do a mock assemble of the chassis. Nothing permanent. Just fit it together. See how you're going to go. As you can see, I've already got two brass rods uh, installed. And you notice one is shorter than the other. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, uh, I wanted to say today that uh, Stock released an updated version of the install guide for this chassis with electronics and this the mk1 hilt so oops, that's a magnet where did that come from all right so anyway uh he put that on the uh thin neck uh like mods and electronic upgrades uh group on facebook and he put it on the thin neck saber fans as well as just his uh stockworks page so uh yeah go be sure to check that out it's got a lot of great updated info in there um and yeah, uh, without further ado, let's start putting this together. So, um, like I said earlier, the reason you noticed that this one is shorter is because of the way this mold worked. Ooh, that was some thunder. About a storm here. Um, so, as you can see when I insert this, it has a much shorter uh, kind of insert space through here than this one did. So I had to shorten it up a little bit. It's just one of those caveats you may run into when putting this together. Uh, again, 3D printing's not perfect. It's not 100% QA'd. So uh, these are all approximations. Just to, you know, measure it down. I was just snipping down with some clippers like these uh, till I got to the desired heights of all four of my uh, brass rods, which came off of one large one. Um, and then I took my Dremel with this little grinder attachment and flatten them out uh, so they fit flush. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, you'll notice too with these two millimeter brass rods they fit very well. Let's just install the these two guys here. All right, got that and so yeah, you'll notice three of them are essentially the same uh, same length and then one of them is a little bit shorter. It's just a quirk of how this batch was printed. No big deal. Um, so, and if, you know, if I'm ever really worried about it or something, I can just glue that, glue that little one in and call it good. I want to make sure I'm doing this. The, yep, this is the piece I need. So you'll notice on these two pieces, I'm not snipped here yet, uh, just because it's not, I'm not ready for the full install. This is just mock-up. Uh, so, but you'll notice on these two, one of them has a slant, an angle, and the other one is flush flat. And that lines up here and here. On this piece so these guys fit right in there just kind of thread them through then thread that through there and boom nice and snug same deal with this one keeping those bars on the inside for now I'll they'll be gone once I'm ready to actually install it uh, permanently so come on there we go and that in okay we can see nice flush find our side that lines up there perfect get that guy in get these guys in and then come on you gotta get in there they gotta get in there and then gotta line you up just like so and do a little Press not too hard, just enough to get the tension uh, just right on there, and boom, there we have it. That is the main chassis assembly. So this is where the CFX is going to go down in here, along with the uh, recharge port, kill switch, uh, SD card access, uh, you know, just all that good stuff. And then up through here uh, is where your battery will come to sit in. You take this piece. See how we got nice little little rails here. Get it on. Uh, uh. Come on, where are we at? There we are. And twist, that's on, perfect. And then this would be your speaker holder slash LED holder right there. And that would sit on top. That's how you do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mock up putting this into the uh, MK1. So we'll just take this off first. Ooh. Slide 
that off. There we are. So with this guy, typically try to throw this in here first. A little bit hard, but there's a way to just kind of slide it on in there. This was easier the last time I did this. Well, I'm not having a good time. There we go. So I just kind of try to slide it in like that. Boom, there we go. All right. I wonder if I should have put this in first. <laughs> so we'll pull it back down, slide it out. This guy just kind of, how did I do this last time? Oh, I know how, I took this off. Silly me. See, I can't even remember all this stuff. Undo the screw right there. Pull off. Tee hee. As a very good friend of mine would say, fits flush right there. Actually, not quite flush. So, that's how we get that guy in there. This guy in as you can see he has a hole to line up right there so. yeah. okay yep there we go so that's in mock mock install followed by this right here and then you just slide it on and boom, there you are. That's the install of that. And you got to see kind of how much of a, uh, <laughs> how little I remember of doing things after I've done them only once or twice. So there you go. Uh, let's see. I think that's about where I want it. slide the clamp back on over well if you do it the correct way it helps a whole lot more oopsie boots got it and then you can just watch this go right on there probably got a mess with it just a tad to bring it on in since I don't have any anything tightening it up just like that you can see through that hole right there there's the chassis screw on okay bring the crystal chamber back down like that do that go ahead and take the pommel off Boom, there we are. Wonderful, and for those who just like the gratuitous shots. That's how flush it sits right there. Pop that back on. And that's how, essentially, how you physically install this. Obviously this goes here, but <laughs> we're not to that point yet. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I am uh, waiting on a new battery to come in. Thanks to Stocks Post today, I found that uh, Illumin had a 2000 milliamp hour uh, 18500 battery in. So I went ahead and purchased that just to get a little bit more life since this is gonna be a 
pixel build and it's going to drain battery like a mofo so <laughs> uh yeah we're uh we're good to go to get ready for the actual install once that gets here so uh probably be a little quiet uh in the next uh week or so uh just as i wait on that to get in so uh hope you guys found this helpful and have a good one